Hi there everyone, welcome back. Today's gear video is going to be about the Nemesis chest rig from Oreo Soul Systems. It's a new release, and it came out pretty recently, only a matter of weeks ago. And there's a lot of features to this thing, so we're going to basically crack straight into it. Uh, obviously this is a multicam version at the moment. At the time of publishing they're available in ATAX FG and Coyote as well. Coyote is slightly cheaper. Now classically Warrior have usually built their kit in a 1000D Cordura and uh, that sort of led me to move away from them. I've had a lot of their kit for many years, bought most of, their, most of my uh, PALS kit from UK Tactical Warrior, but they were pretty persistent in sticking with that 1000D so I kind of moved away from that to more lightweight kit. Luckily now they've kind of caught up with the times and the main material used in this rig is a 500D so that's saving a lot of weight there, which is uh, definitely a bonus. Primary load carriage on this thing is the four magazine pouches you can see on the front. They're capable of holding either one or two uh, 30 round Stanag 556 mags, one or two AK mags, or they can hold one G36 magazine each. If you want to Hold one Stanag does that quite nicely with the bungee retainer cords and the uh, weapon tabs here that are supplied. You can also fit two mags in there quite comfortably. A bit tighter of a fit, but obviously it goes in there quite well. Um, so that gives you up to 8 30 round 5.56, 8 AK or 4 G36 in this rig, which for a, such a small rig is a, a pretty good complement of magazines. Each pouch, as you see, has got pouch moving strips on the front. That means you can add more pouches if you want to, so you can put more magazines, like rifle mags, pistol mags, whatever it is you might need onto the front of this, so there's a lot of options. In the centre, have got elastic loops here, so you can store chem lights, IR silence, whatever you want in those quite nicely. Piece of webbing and then behind is the main opening. Got a nice chunky zip on here when you actually want to put the thing on, take it off again. When you're wearing it, it's extremely easy to do and having the zip upside down as it were in that sense works surprisingly well. When it comes to each of the mag pouches, the Bungee retainers are adjustable. The pouches have Velcro inside of them, so you can go for Velcro retention if you put bits of Velcro on the max. I think this rig would be a good candidate for some of the STAC uh, Kydex inserts, the Kiwi inserts that they make. I'll probably be picking some of those up. Behind the mag pouches is actually a space there, a, a grommet just here where the shock cord loops through. All you've got to do is uh, find the appropriate piece back here and then you can loosen the toggle like so. That will allow you to adjust the rig in between fitting either one or two mags per pouch. And you can just tuck it all back away again pretty easily. The shoulder straps are actually very nicely done on this. There's been a lot of effort put into them. Um, you've got quite a thickness of padding on each strap just here. It goes all the way from the very base of the rig up over your shoulder onto the back there. Quick to touch with buckles. Got webbing points here. This is PAL spec, so you could put pouches, very small pouches horizontally, but mainly that's going to be for your PTTs, small radios. Got elastic loops on the side there, that's going to be for routing hydration tubes, comms lines, or alternatively, you can actually open up each of those sections, and again, that's going to be for routing all those uh, cables and tubes and wires and what have you. Again, another strip of webbing just at the top there for more further routing, more different attachment points, all that sort of stuff. Move around to the back. Here's your, your actual main back securing strap. There's uh, no shortage of range of adjustment on this, as you can see. You're probably going to want to chop this down, um, certainly when you've adjusted it got elastic retention uh, tabs here, you can just fold up that loose strap. Up here you'll probably notice on the shoulder straps a bit of an odd feature. I am assuming they are going to release a back panel or a hydration uh, back piece <coughs> that's going to be compatible with the Nemesis, 
and that's what these totally random spare QR buckles are for on each side. That's my assumption. We'll see whether that happens from Warrior. Yeah. It's a H harness setup, as you can see. You probably could, if you preferred an X harness for some reason, um, you could undo these buckles, switch them around, and this back piece here made a webbing, Velcro adjustment. You can entirely remove that and then there's actually another space for it higher up so the adjustment on this is pretty massive. You'll see on the inside we've got more retention stash pockets. These aren't the ones I mentioned earlier. You've got the adjustment for your shingled mag pouch uh, retention tabs just in here. There's more elastic loops down there so you can stuff more kit on the inside of this rig but then you've got stash pockets just here made of mesh you've got edging tape around here so you're gonna get pretty good airflow with that mesh you can even pad these out if you find you're getting uncomfortable and sweaty in that area you can uh, put something in there but just a small velcro tab which is all you need and that's going to be for all your maps orders pens uh, your phone all that sort of good stuff just go in there on each side you've got three columns by five rows power webbing ideal for uh, you could get a small one liter hydro large radio a pretty sizable gp pouch on uh, on each side if you wanted so when you combine these areas with the pals on the front you can add quite a lot of optional extra pouches onto a rig that is standard is very light and quite compact but you can expand it and contract uh, as you see fit basically Again, adjustment on the shoulder straps for your height and uh, sort of chest measurements. can be just via pulling the webbing straps through on these buckles, and then you've got elastic keepers to roll up and retain that loose uh, webbing strap, stop it playing around, flapping about in the breeze. And that, I think, is pretty much everything. In terms of quality of materials and constructions, uh, you can't really get any better to be honest. There's pretty much a plateau that you hit with gear uh, if everything is too mil spec as this chest rig is. And it's as stitched as nicely as this is. Lots of bar tacking reinforcement on all the PALS webbing, all the crucial points, all the other stitching, straight, neat, no, uh, no loose ends, nothing fraying. Very nicely done. Being the multicam version, all the actual multicam materials are American. Uh, straight from Cry comes with you. Familiar little Cry triangular tag. These are available for around £75, I believe, from UK Tactical. I will put a link to where you can pick these up down in the description box below. So if you want to check them out, please do, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. Uh, thanks for all the thumbs up, all the subscribers, all that good stuff. I do appreciate it. I'll see you next time.